This is the ultimate local AI setup powered by DeepSeek R1 distilled models. If you do not want to give your data to Chinese data centers, which is what a lot of people are worried about DeepSeek R1, then this is the way you can run the DeepSeek R1 distilled models, which is not the original big size model, but smaller size ones that you can run on your computer. So everything I'm going to show you in this tutorial is an open source tool. So Olama, Olama Web UI and also Visual Studio Code extension continue. So we're going to use these three things. One, we're going to download the model. Two, we are going to have a chat interface. And three, I'm going to show you how you can use it inside your Visual Studio Code so that you can use a DeepSeek R1 distilled model for editing your code. None of these require internet except for the first time when you have to set it up. So the data is secure. Your data is within your local computer. Let's get started with this. The very first thing that we need to do is we're going to download and install Olama. So I'm going to just click download and uh, you can see for Mac OS it's available. You can just say download Mac OS and uh, Olama is getting downloaded. For, for this particular tutorial, I had to actually uninstall my existing Olama so that I can show you every single thing step by step. Double click it. I'm showing it on Mac. You can do the same thing on like a different version. So I've uh, double clicked Olama and uh, you can see that at this point, uh, Olama, it's asking me to move to the applications and uh, technically it is done. It's going to be loaded. So this is what I see after I install Olama. Click next and then it says install Olama, which is a command line utility. Click install. I have to enter my password. Hopefully I'm not making a mistake. Done. So now at this point, we have successfully installed Olama and all we have to do is we have to download our first Olama model. So for that, you can go to Olama library. And if you go to Olama library, we already have got DeepSeek R1. And there are different versions here. You can see 7B, 1.5B, 8B, 14B, 32B, 70B, 671B. Depending upon the kind of computer that you have got, kind of RAM you have got, I would say pick the model. In this case, just to make it easier, I'm going to go ahead with the 1.5 billion parameter model. But if you have got a stronger RAM, you can go with a higher model. This tutorial does not require you to have an NVIDIA GPU. But if you have got an NVIDIA GPU, Olama would also leverage the NVIDIA GPU. So what am I going to do? All I'm going to do is copy this command here, open my terminal local computer, and I'm going to just run this. So if I run this for the first time, as you can see, it is downloading the Olama model, which is DeepSeek R1 1.5 billion parameter model. It is a distilled model of DeepSeek R1, the larger model, and the file is being downloaded. While this is getting downloaded, what we are going to do is, we are going to go ahead and then see what is the user interface we are going to use. The chat interface we are going to use is called Open Web UI. Once again, it is completely open source. You can see that this is a BSD3 clause license. You can go see their complete code, entire code. So for this to run, we need to have a local Python environment for the very first thing. So if you have got a local Python environment, then all I would say is go to your Visual Studio code, uh, open the terminal. And in my case, I've got uh, this inside a virtual environment, as you can see here. I've got a virtual environment called AIENV. This is just to make sure that, you know, I'm not like messing up with my files. So if you do not have a virtual environment, you don't have to worry. But if you have got a virtual environment, it is good to go with that. And if you want to follow a good standard practice, it's always good to have a virtual environment where you install all the Python libraries. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and then just simply copy pip install open web UI and then come back here and paste it. So this is the second thing that we are supposed to do. This is to install the open web UI, which is going to be like a chat GPT like chat interface. Open web UI is installed successfully at this point. So once our Olama model is ready, then we can open open web UI. So let's go ahead and then check if our open model, the uh, deep seek R1 model is ready. It is ready. You can see the model download is done. So we can go ask a simple question. What is two plus two? And you can see that uh, it is starting to think and uh, the thinking tag is finished and the problem is solved. So the answer is there. So I can say write a joke about any human being. As you can see, it says, why did the bear, why did the bear go to, what, what is a light hearted joke? Why did the bear go to the school? I don't know why did it make a joke about bear if I wanted a, about human being. Anyways, now you can quit this by and you can also do one thing which is to serve Olama models. So you can say Olama serve. 
if you get this particular error, that means this endpoint, this particular endpoint, Olama model is being served currently. That means you can use it as an HTTP endpoint anywhere you want within your local computer. Now we have successfully installed Olama. We have successfully downloaded the DeepSeq model. We have ensured that Olama is being served in the particular endpoint in our local computer. And we have also installed open web UI. So I'm going to go ahead and then say open web UI serve, which is a command I would love to copy from here and go paste it. This is inside my visual studio code inside my environment, the virtual environment where I've already installed the web UI. And once I run this for the first time, it is going to do certain things. It's going to download a bunch of models if you have not done. And once it is done, it is going to let you use the particular endpoint. So you can see it is being run here. So we can go see the model. Let me go here. Localhost, localhost 8080. And at this particular endpoint, as you can see here, we have successfully got a user interface. And uh, I've already created my admin panel here. So you can see I've created a username. So these things you can easily figure out. You don't need somebody to tell you. When you log in for the first time, it will ask you for the name, email ID. This is all to use it locally. Okay. You don't have to have internet at all. Now you can see that there is a workspace. Um, you can see what are, what are the models that you have got and all those things. When you click new chat, you would see deep seek R1, 1.5 billion parameter model. And you can also see that there is a chat interface. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and then disable my internet. So I'm going to go ahead, disable my internet. I've switched off my Wi-Fi. So just to let you know that I've switched off my Wi-Fi, uh, I'm going to go to a new tab, ping google.com and you can see ping cannot resolve. My Wi-Fi is completely switched off at this point and I don't have any internet connection, active internet connection. So anything that I'm going to try to do it, it is not going to open. So I'm going to go new tab and then I'm going to say google.com. It doesn't open. I can just play the dino game. So I don't have internet at all. So I'm going to show you. You can still do this without internet. That's the whole point of this video. You're not sending your data to any server. Everything that we are using is open solution, completely 100% privacy protected. So we have already selected the DeepSeq R1 model here. You can see if not, all you have to do is click a new chat and then select the model, search for the model DeepSeq R1 1.5 billion parameter model. And all I have to do is I can just say, tell me a joke about any human. And you can see that it is starting to think you can expand it and then see what it is thinking. And then finally it is giving you the final joke. So let me go ahead and then start a new interface, new chat and then say, can you tell me which one is lighter, uh, one kg of, um, feather or one, uh, kg, 1.5 kg of iron rod. Let's see. It has to say one kg of feather. Okay. One kg of feather is lighter. I mean, it's a stupid question, but you can see that it is going through the thought process because this is a thinking model. You get to also see the thought process, which is already implemented as part of open a open web UI. So you can see the entire thought process and you can go ahead and then chat continuously. You can do all those things that you want. Um, give me ideas what to do with my kids art. So it is thinking. And then it is giving, and because we have got a 1.5 billion parameter model, the model is extremely fast. As you can see here, it just took a few seconds and then we already got an answer. So we have done two things that we wanted to do in this video. One, we have managed to install Olam and download the deep seek R1 distilled model Two, we have a chat interface. You can come here and then chat anytime you want. You don't need to have internet connection at all. Like I said, I still do not have internet connection. Now I'm going to enable internet connection to show you one thing, which is. If you go here, uh, this is called continue.dev. This is uh, like an extension within Visual Studio Code, which will let you use Olama models. In my case, I already have installed the extension, so I'm going to keep my internet off. But in your case, if you do not have it, the first thing you have to do is go click here, which in this case, it will not open. But if you click this, you would uh, get the chance to install Visual Studio Code extension. Just like there'll be a button called install and then you have to install. I'm going to go to my Visual Studio code uh, where I'm already running the model and I've got continue as you can see here and I've got extension also continue. You can see I've got continue extension. I can restart continue. Continue is done. Now all I have to do is I have to do command shift P 
And when I do this, I'm going to say toggle continue. And then you can see in the right hand side, I've got this continue um, interface. I'm going to close the extension so that it's basically clear. And I'm going to click new file, new file. Let's say a Python file. Close it. We have got this interface. I'm going to select the different model. So I'm going to go here and then add a chat model. Where do you want to add the chat model from? I want to add the chat model from Olama. So you can see Olama here. And uh, so Olama is already downloaded, auto detect the model. And I can say auto detect the model and click connect. And uh, it is connected. So it is using deep seek coder and auto detect has figured out that uh, we have deep seek R1, which is what I'm going to select. So now I can go ahead and then ask anything that I want. I can say, write a Python code using write a, uh, sorry, write a flappy bird Python game, Python game using Pygame. Make sure not to use any external files. Let's see if it works. Run this. It says there is no context. Um, I think I just by mistake pressed shift enter and again, all this is happening while my internet is not available. So my internet where to show you my ping google.com doesn't work because my internet is not available. And still you can see all this is done. Um, this is written here. So I can just go to insert inside the cursor here, which is here. Let's see if the code works in the first place. I want to save the code. I, it looks like we might face some error. We have some things that is not working, but let's see if it can work. Save the code. Uh, I'm going to save it inside uh, downloads, which is uh, flappy.py. And I'm going to try to run it, which will most likely not work. There is a syntax error. So we can say select all these things, right click here, continue, fix this code, and then hope that it actually fixes. So you can see when we tell continue to fix the code, it does very similar like what cursor would do, which is basically the diff. You get to see the diff and then you get to see, uh, you get the option to accept the diff and then move on. I'm not going to go deeper into what to do with continue because we have selected the smallest version of the deep seek R1 distill model. So definitely it is not going to be at the best, but you can do the same thing with the 7 billion parameter model or 8 billion parameter model. Or in fact, if you have got good amount of compute, you can go ahead with 14 billion parameter model, 32 billion parameter model. And if you have got like RAM, which is greater than let's say 60 GB, you can definitely use 70 billion parameter model at a really good speed. So in this video, I just wanted to give you how you can set up a deep seek R1 distilled model locally, like a local AI setup without having to send your data. If you are concerned about sending your data to the Chinese server and you are concerned about what they would do with that, then this is like a complete local setup where you can use every single thing that you want, even literally without internet connection. As you can see here, I do not still, I have not switched on my internet yet. But I can just literally go to Olama and then start chatting with the model. Oh, write a code to draw a bar chart in Python. So I can do the same thing here or I can go here and then click a new file, a new chat here and then say, write a mat C bond code. Let's say C bond code to draw a bar chart from uh, df.csv. Just run this, uh, you will get the code, you will get the explanation. You can open a new file, new Python file, and then once the code is available here, you can send the code here, and then voila, you have the entire code available. Even with the smallest 1.5 billion parameter model, this is a really, really good model. But as you step up the size of the model, you would get like really great options. And um, it's not just this, you can also go chat with this like I showed you here, um, which is in your local host, you can just go write a C bond code uh, to create a bar chart from df.csv. And all this is happening completely local, no internet, nothing required at all. And you can set it up for your entire home as well. That's the whole reason you have got this admin. You, have, you can set this up for your own company. You can expose this endpoint within your local subnet. So basically you don't have to be worried about China stealing your data if you're using DeepSeek. This is a local model. 
a local model with a permissive license you can do anything that you want and um, exactly the reason i wanted to put out this tutorial i hope this was helpful to you i think the only thing that misses in this is like a rag setup retrieval augmented generation and i'm working on another tutorial to have a retrieval augmented generation including internet search if that is something that you would like smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel see you in another video happy prompting